Moving on, uh, this weekend, NASA took a highly sensitive decision, one that would determine the safety and well-being of two astronauts who are circling the Earth in an orbiting lab. Yes, we are talking about Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, better known as the Boeing Starliner crew. They flew to space for an eight-day mission originally, and now they will have to be there for eight months. Their families will have to wait until February 2025. Here's more in this detailed report. Veteran astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore set off to space on June 5th this year. They were testing the Boeing Starliner a new spacecraft meant to ferry astronauts to the International Space Station and back. But there's been no shortage of errors and mishaps. Many of the spacecraft's in-space steering thrusters failed. The craft suffered helium leaks. Eventually, after a 26-hour journey, the duo began their stay at the International Space Station. The space station is a football field sized floating laboratory that circles 400 kilometers above the Earth. Right now, it is home to a handful of astronauts. Almost every six months, the space station crew is rotated and a new crew from Earth takes over. The space station is a lab where several new technologies from across domains are tested and validated. Literally, it is the home, office, lab, and recreational space for all its inhabitants. Very happy. Like they had a great ride. The space station even has a gym and daily training is mandatory. This weekend, NASA announced that Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore would only return in February 2025. Effectively, their eight-day mission is extended to an eight-month mission. And the Starliner craft that flew them to space won't be bringing them back to Earth. Owing to safety concerns, the duo will fly back on a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. The Boeing Starliner and SpaceX Crew Dragon are meant to be competitors. Ironically, now Boeing is having to depend on its competitor SpaceX as its own craft is found to be unreliable. So, what is it like to stay for longer than six months in space? Did you know that long-term space stays can adversely affect the human body? So our muscles are getting weaker, bones are losing uh, minerals and even our heart um, getting weaker and weaker. So for, this, for that reason we need to train on board every day for two hours to run, uh, like exercises with uh, weights and well trainers. Routine astronaut missions last six months, but there are cases when their stay gets extended to almost a year. There are several cases of astronauts who have had to extend their stay in space, owing to various reasons. Clearly, Williams and Wilmore aren't the first, and this trip of theirs is unlikely to be the single longest space stay. In the early 1990s, as the Soviet Union collapsed, Cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev was aboard the space station as the country that sent him to space no longer existed and due to the geopolitical complications of the time, Krikalev spent 311 days aboard the Mir space station. This was twice as long as his planned mission. Russian cosmonaut Valery Polyakov also stayed aboard the Mir space station for 427 days in a single trip. Likewise, American astronaut Frank Rubio has spent 371 days in space on a single trip. Earlier this year, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko created a new record by spending more than 1,000 days in space over multiple trips. Back to the International Space Station. With Siddharth MP in Chennai, we on we'll World is One. The bell on the space station. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.